Okay, so in this video, what, what I'm going to go over is a, um, the equation of tangent in normal lines. Uh, I've done a lot of the tangent lines in other calculus videos, but they did add the normal line in the syllabus for class of 2014. Okay, so if you, you look at a tangent line, it's going to be, um, you know, when you find the gradient, you find the, um, when you, excuse me, when you find the derivative, you find the gradient, and you can write the line of tangent right here. It hits exactly one point. Well, the normal, all the normal is, is it's at 90 degrees right here at the same point. So it's very easy. You just, you take the negative reciprocal, you do the exact same thing. So I'm going to do a tangent one, then I'll do a normal one to show you the difference. So find the y coordinate. Okay, so to find the equation of a tangent line, you find the y coordinate, if need be, by substituting the x value in the original equation, find the derivative, substitute the x value to find m, and then sub x, y, and m into y equals mx plus c, and write down the equation. Okay, so it seems, you know, like a lot of steps, but it's really pretty straightforward. Sometimes they'll give you the whole point, like they'll give you the x and y coordinate, that makes it even easier. So find the equation of the tangent for y equals x to the third minus 3. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the y, what y is at this point. So I'm going to just sub in x equals 2. So 2 to the third minus 3 equals 5. So that's, that's important here. We have our point 2, 5. Okay? Now I'm going to take the derivative. So I'm going to go dy by dx equals, um, let's see, 3 times 1. The, the, there'd be one right here. Three times one is, is three, and then take one away, it's x squared. This becomes zero, so that's our derivative function. And then I'm gonna sub um, the x value into there, which is two. So I get um, 12. Okay, so now we have our x value, um, which is right here, and our y value, and we have m, which is right here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is sub it in to the equation y equals mx plus c. So we'll sub in, let's see, y equals 5, m equals 12, x equals 2 plus c. So we get 5 equals 24 plus c. Subtract the 24. You know, a little algebra here, you get negative 19 equals c. Okay, so once you have c and you have m, we can write the equation. Okay, so if we're going to write the equation, it's going to be y equals 12x, uh, not, not plus, um, it's going to be minus 19. So 12x minus 19, okay? And let me just fix that up. So it's nice and neat, 12x minus 19. So there you go. That's how you write a tangent line. Okay, so let's write a normal line now. Okay, so to write a, uh, a normal line, equation of a normal line, you, you do the same exact thing. You find the y-coordinate derivative, sub in the x-value. Now, the only difference here um, is right here, okay? So change the gradient to its negative reciprocal because it's perpendicular, okay? And you do the exact same thing, okay? So let's, let's go ahead and do this. Um, find the equation of the normal to the curve y equals 12 over x at p. I'll give you in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. Okay, where a, okay, so this is a different form, so we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, moving around at the end, but that's all right. Okay, so um, again, find y first. So y equals 12 over negative 4, so that's equals negative 3. So we have our point now, which is important, negative 4 and negative 3. Now, we're going to take the derivative. So, you know, this is y equals 12 times x to the negative 1 power. Uh, and I'm going to take the derivative of that. You always write, I always write it personally um, like this. Just I think that's easier to take the derivative. So it's um, negative 1 times 12 is negative 12. And then it's x to the negative 2. You take 1 away. Okay, now we need to sub in negative 4 in there. So it's going to be negative 12 times uh, negative 4 x to the negative 2. Okay, and you can break that out on a calculator, um, and uh, you can see if I've already played around with this. Um, so negative 12, put brackets, negative 4, and then raise it to the negative 2 power, and you get negative 0.75. I would change it to a fraction. It will make it easier. And so it's going to be negative 3 fourths, okay? Now, the, the here, this, is, if this was the tangent line, this would be the gradient, but we're looking at the normal line, so we need to take the, the negative reciprocal of that. Okay, so our x value is going to be negative 4, our y value is going to be negative 3, 
and our M is going to be, we just flip it over, so it's going to be four thirds, and then it's negative, so you make it positive. Okay, so that's going to be our gradient. All right, so um, let's just sub everything in here. So we get, um, we get, we're down to here now. So I still use Y equals MX plus C. There's another way to do it, but I, I just have my kids always do it the same way. And we'll, um, we'll just rearrange it later. So Y equals negative three, M equals uh, four thirds, uh, X equals negative four plus C. So you get negative three equals negative 16 over three plus C. Okay, um, now I'm gonna move that over. So it's gonna be C, uh, let's see, negative three plus 16 thirds equals C. Now I, I wouldn't even, I just do this on the calculator. So uh, negative three plus 16 divided by three. This gives you a decimal. Again, I would change it to a fraction math. Fraction, enter, seven thirds. Okay, so C equals seven thirds. Okay, so now we have our, um, we have, let's see, we have X, we have Y, and then we have C. So I would go to, you know, Y equals MX plus C, and I'm gonna write it, um, Y equals, oh, excuse me, we have C and then we have M, which was what, four thirds? X and Y don't matter at this point, we already used them. Um, so it's going to be four thirds X plus seven thirds. Okay. Um, now what I would do here is, you know, in this form, we need to move everything over to make it equal to zero. So I would just move the Y over. Okay. So it was, it would be zero equals four thirds X minus Y plus seven thirds. And then, you know, just to get rid of the denominator, cause they want it as an element of integers here. Uh, you just multiply it by three. So you're gonna get zero equals four X minus three Y plus seven. And you are good to go. It doesn't matter if the zero is on the left side. Um, that's, it's the same, it's equivalent. Okay, um, so that there, there you go. The only difference in that one is you have to change, when it is a normal, you have to change um, the negative reciprocal on the gradient. Everything else uh, works exactly the same. Okay, and let's just try one little tricky one, or maybe not so tricky, but just a little different at the end. Okay, so this last one, it says the gradient of the tangent of the curve y equals ax squared at the point p is 3b, okay, no problem, um, is 30. Okay, so find the values of a and b. Okay, so kids get kind of confused on these when there's, um, you know, variables involved. Okay, so again, they give us the gradient here. Okay, so they give us the gradient is 30. So anytime they give you the gradient, the way you gotta do this is, the first thing you gotta do is take the derivative. So if we had, you know, dy by dx here um, is gonna be two times a is two a, and it's gonna be x, okay? Now, they give us a derivative. They say it's 30. Okay, so that means that this side right here is 30. We know two, okay? Um, we have a, and then we actually know what x is. x is three. So what we get here is 30 equals 6a, and then, you know, you divide by 6, a equals uh, 5, okay? Now, if we know that a equals 5, we can find out what y equals. y equals uh, 5 times, we know what 3 is, 2 squared, so y equals, um, uh, let's see, 5 times 9 is 45, so that's b. So a equals 5 and b equals um, 45. Okay, so as you see here, not too bad. I mean, it took me probably less than two minutes to do that problem, but if, you know, you just gotta go through the steps. So if they're gonna give you the gradient there, if they give you the gradient, just, you know, take the derivative and then figure out what x is. It's, it's one other step, it's not, not that big of a deal. I did it in some of my other videos, okay? So check out the calculus videos if you need more help on that. Okay, well, hopefully this helped out. Um, anyway, uh, take it easy.